Hello, welcome. This is Jess with Jess Bear Chats. Glad you're joining us again. I hope everyone is doing well and keeping safe, warm, and well fed. I know that it has been a really, really difficult time for a lot of people this past week in particular, but I think now it's been two months where it feels like everyone is having a rough time. And a lot of it has to do with the current events uh, a COVID-19 world that we're all living in and trying to adjust to and there's a lot of new hurdles new frustrations that a lot of people are dealing with I know that living in a urban area that has a lot of people who are working part-time or seasonal jobs that are also dependent on a lot of contact with with people um, it's been a very scary and very frustrating time so I hope you're breathing in and breathing out and just doing what you can to make it through the next day and I hope you're bringing in your spiritual practice uh, with you during this time I cannot tell you how important it has been for me personally to be not only having sort of a an activity which is studying and learning about my uh, my spiritual practice but having that connection uh, when we need to be comforted when we need to feel that um, there is more than what is meeting the eye right now and maybe has some answers for us. So on this line, uh, I've been spending a lot of time uh, getting ready to um, make a deal, make a contracted agreement with Andagda. Now I've been a dedicant, that's the word I, I use, uh, to Andagda for at least uh, officially two years and I think three years really three and a half something like that where I've known of him he's been a huge presence in my life and uh, we've been working together on projects and up until now it didn't feel like the contract was really needed also I think I had a lot of anxiety around writing a contract uh, when you are dealing with um, the she that is uh, the good folk and Andagda I just recently learned is the king of um, the other folk of Ireland um, I I know that they take wording and contracts and very very seriously and very literally so I you know was a little nervous about putting something down on paper or admitting or saying something out loud and saying it wrong and then getting stuck in the situation that I didn't want to be in um, that is something that you kind of have to be aware of when you're doing any sort of contract so I think that kind of stopped me for a while and I've also have a history of being in a different religion uh, a, a particular set of Christianity that contracts I mean weren't really necessary and their big thing was making maybe a proclamation of faith to your congregation maybe that you're working or um, uh, going to you know Sunday uh, church with but otherwise this was you know it, it wasn't anything that really needed a signed or contracted agreement so so yeah I had a lot of hesit hesitancy around that so I've been working on it and I'm like you know I've been failing with this thing for a long time and I wonder when is gonna be a really good time to just go ahead and do it and strangely enough as it would happen uh, a teacher of mine Laura O'Brien unofficial I suppose I'm in her Irish pagan school um, did a YouTube video today talking about renewing a contract of her own and 
renegotiating contracts. And she mentioned that uh, Beltane, which is happening May 1st through May 3rd, depending on who you talk to and how it's celebrated, uh, was a traditional time um, in Ireland to be negotiating work contracts. So I'm like, okay, dog, does that sound right to you? I mean, it's certainly clicked with me. And he's like, yep, that sounds good. Let's, let's get this done by Beltane. So also, we're not too far off um, from the new moon just starting up. In a lot of traditions I know of that particularly work in more new age, Wicca, witch, or um, uh, magical practices, a new moon is usually a good a time to be starting new projects, making new plans, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, I think, you know, all this is sort of coming in together. Now, for me, I feel like I'm going to need to write it down. I don't have a great memory. I'll be the first to admit it. Uh, I can retain some things, some information in my head for a while, but I'm constantly like picking up new things and learning new things all the time because I, I really love learning about stuff. The problem is a lot of it doesn't really sink in very far. So writing or having something to go back to is always really important and that might be for you too. Um, so I've been typing it out on the computer because I think pretty quickly. Um, like I have a lot of ideas and stuff that go in my head. So typing helps me move a little faster, move as, as fast as my fingers can type, right? I also um, invested in a Dragon Speak, which is a talk to text program and that's also been a huge help where I can just literally just talk into my microphone and it translates what I need translated hashtag this is not a promotion <laughs> I mean it is because it works for me and this is something that you know if you have trouble with maybe writing by hand which I do um, or if you're not a fast typer it's definitely a worthwhile investment. I can't tell you how many papers I, writ I wrote in college with the help of Dragon Speak. So anyway, any sort of talk to text type of um, program would be really, really cool and beneficial for you in this. But that isn't where it's going to stay. For me, I think um, after I type it and once I feel like I've really got everything that needs to be in there, I want to write it down physically. Um, because even though I am a slow writer and I have to be very careful with my handwriting because I have bad sloppy handwriting, um, I found that I do retain information better when I'm writing it down. So, so I'm going to write down and, you know, it, I know a lot of people who maybe have a journal for um, magical works. Um, they call it their Book of Shadows, their grimoire, whatever. Um, some people use bullet journals and stuff to plan out their day, which is a very good thing that I'm trying to learn. But I wanted to put this in a, a special place and an important um, place and make, make it kind of pretty and cool, right? Well, it just so happens that my friend's sister, sorry, my sister's friend, um, they get a some kind of nerd uh, box uh, that comes to their house like every month. And they got this really cool uh, journal. Um, so it's, whoop, let me put that right there. It's leather um, and it's Lord of the Rings themed, which is really important um, because I am a big Lord of the Rings nerd. So um, for those of you who are um, unable to see the image, it's a dark brown um, journal, uh, leather bound, 
and in front of it there is uh, a a little imprint of Frodo and um, Sam running across the field and on the top it says uh, let me hold on there's some good in this world Mr. Frodo and it's worth fighting for um, so I love this journal I've never gotten a chance or had a reason to write in it but I very strongly empathize and relate to the figure of Sam who is reluctantly but willing in a way to go on this journey this adventure and he does a lot of the heavy lifting he he's the protector he is um, the one who uh, helps um, the person who is tasked with the great task to get to the finish line um, and possibly TMI I don't know but um, my my husband does call me his Sam so there you go anyway I love that and I think that that's where that contract is going to go so contracts with um, the the Irish deities but with any deity I think is something that not every relationship that people get into with these uh, guides gods or guardians with the gods or the ungods is another popular term that's used um, I think it comes after we have established relationship um, and you know and the deity or the spirit is wanting to work with us and they want us to make sure that we're keeping up our end of the bargain but it's also a way to make sure that we're getting um, what we are owed from the bargain so yeah so this isn't something that one should do lightly or one should I, I mean this is my opinion your mileage may vary but I really um, I don't think I would be willing to just jump into a contract with maybe a spiritual being that I had essentially just met so some people have different experiences some people unwittingly fall into service um, which is another video for another time um, but yeah so this is a very interesting part of my relationship and my work um, to actually have it written down and saying okay I, I am trusting in this uh, relationship that I put the work in and so will you so yeah so it's you know uh, it's it's an interesting place to be right now so I was curious you know too, like have any of you done a contract with your guides gods or guardians what was that experience like what has been stopping you from maybe making a contract or do you not feel it's really necessary I'd love to hear from you you go ahead and you can comment down below or you can email me at justbearchats at gmail.com and yeah send me pictures send me suggestions I'm I'm very open and willing uh, to hear suggestions and um, but yeah uh, that's it. hopefully we'll be able to learn a little bit together so with that uh, before I go away I did want to do a special shout out um, to my my buddy Caleb uh, it is his 29th birthday happy birthday Caleb uh, he's been helping myself and my husband start a community garden in our low income apartments by building planters for us he's an amazing young man and um, buddy I wish you all the best I hope it's an amazing birthday I hope you get lots of messages I hope that you feel love even though you know we aren't able to come together physically and, and celebrate with you so yeah happy birthday buddy alright so yeah that's it for now like I said please go ahead and comment you're also welcome to email me 
and um, oh final thing um, I'll probably be saying this more uh, closer to the date but on May 2nd at 12 p.m. I am going to be hosting a potluck uh, and ritual um, with the group that I have founded uh, called the Fresno Feasting Hall. Uh, this will be on Zoom chat and uh, I'm inviting you to come and join me. Um, it will be a pretty simple affair so do a, a ritual, have some bardic inspiration with some music and poetry and sharing our meal together and talking about community needs. So I'm very interested to see how this is going to work because this is the first time that we have done this online because originally it was a potluck. So um, so we'll, we'll see how this works. But I wanted to open it up and invite you all. Um, uh, I will probably be posting that Zoom link um, in the next couple of days. You're also welcome to check out Fresno Feasting Hall uh, on Facebook. That's where we're at right now if you're interested to see kind of what we've been doing there. So okay, uh, that's it for now. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to listen and sharing your stories and your experience with me. And until we meet again, may you stay safe, warm, and well-fed.